even start drawing the cross diagram, we need to determine how many electrons this particular element has. And how would I know how many electrons it has? Now back to your atomic structure, we know that in an atom, the number of protons and electrons must be the same. Now in the periodic table that you have in exam, okay, you can just refer to the key to know what each of the number represent. All right. So the top of the number actually is the proton number or not, we can say it's an atomic number, which means it is the number of protons. Now in an atom, number of protons and number of electrons are the same. And hence, we can safely say that the number at the top also represents the number of electrons in an atom. Now what about carbon dioxide? Carbon, there are six electrons. So first shell will have two. All right, the remaining four are in the second shell. Now for oxygen, there are eight electrons, two electrons in the first shell, six electrons in the second shell. So now from here, we know that oxygen needs two more electrons, carbon needs four more electrons, and we have two oxygen. So carbon will share two electrons with one oxygen and the other two electrons with the other oxygen, and they will come together to form this. So all the electrons of the carbon are shared, so we draw all in the overlapping region. For oxygen, the innermost electrons are not involved in bonding, so each oxygen uses up two electrons for sharing. The remaining four electrons are at the outer part of the overlapping region. Same thing for the other oxygen. Okay? Now after you draw a dot and cross diagram, it is always good for you to check whether or not each of these atoms has attained noble gas electronic configuration. So let's check for the oxygen on the left. Okay, we got four here, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so this oxygen attained noble gas electronic configuration. Good. What about the carbon in the middle? We got four, five, six, seven, eight over here. All right, so good for carbon. What about the oxygen on the right hand side? Four here, five, six, seven, eight. So each of them has attained the electronic configuration that they want. All right. So again, in exams, if they ask you for um, only the outermost electrons, what you will need to show is this. We omit the electrons at the inner shells. So this is what you need to show if you are asked to draw only the outermost electrons. So let's convert this to structural formula. So from here, we can see very clearly between each carbon and oxygen, four electrons are shared. So if four electrons are shared, it means that two bonds are formed. So between C and O, we just need to show a double bond and a double bond. Now, if you find this video useful, please share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you'd like to have more chemistry resources, do check out my website. The link is in the description below. Now have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.